Today I'm going to be showing you two very simple countdown timers that I use a lot in Construct 3. So let's start by double tapping. I'm just going to type text and rename it to clock. Let's just pop that over there. And the text I want it to say 99. I'm going to resize it to 100, make it really big. And if we come over here, we might notice that the text has disappeared. Don't worry, it hasn't gone in anywhere. If we hold the shift key and come to a corner, we can drag it proportional and you can start seeing it. I think a better way of uh, resizing the text box is to hold the control key down. Just drag onto one of the sides and come over here. Can also change the size of text box over here as well and we can just drag it around anywhere you want I'll just leave it there I'm not too fussed about getting things uh, lined up at the moment and what I want to show you what happens is it starts at 99 seconds and then it, every second it'll reduce so it'll go 99 98 97 all the way down to zero. So to do that, we go into the event sheet. We right click, click on add global variable. I'm going to call it total time. I'm going to set it 99. As we've got 99 seconds. So system. We can type in here start. So on start a layout. We set the value of the global variable to 99. And scroll down to the bottom every X seconds. So every one second. System. Subtract from the global variable just by one. And go into the clock. You want to set the text. In fact, we just get rid of those quotation marks. So we set the text to the global variable. So now, if we hit the play button, you can see it's uh, reducing down. However, as we've got it set up at the moment, it will just keep going down to zero and then into the negative numbers. So to prevent that, if we just add another condition, so right click, add another condition, system, compare variable, total time is greater than zero. So if this global variable is greater than zero, then you're allowed to subtract from it. So that's the very basic uh, countdown timer done. Now, if you want um, something a bit more than this, if you if you've got more than say 99 seconds, say a number like 10 minutes, you might not want to display 10 minutes in seconds. You might want to say here is 10 minutes and so many seconds. So let me show you how to do that one. So if we change it to 10 minutes, so if we just drag that across. So if we have 10 minutes and then this will count down and eventually it'll go down to zero, zero, zero just as a, a clock would do, as you'd expect. So let's change these to 600. So we've got 60 seconds in a minute, times 10, that's 600, 10 minutes. And we can 
keep that the same, just change this one. So I'm going to write in quite a long formula here, so don't worry about copying it down. I will write it in the description. I'm also going to try and explain it as well later on. I'll probably fail at explaining it. I do apologise, I'll try and do my best. Okay, so if we just hit the play button, so you can see it starts counting down. I didn't quite like how it jumped there, so I'm just going to try and fix that. So horizontal alignment, let's put it onto the right. And if we press play, yeah, that looks a lot nicer. Okay, so let's try and explain a few things. So this big formula that I've just written down here. So zero pad, that's referring to the length of the digits. So on the, the left side of the, the colon, we had uh, the, the number 10 for 10 minutes. And I've currently got it set on one. If I just change it to I change it to two and just show you it'll go ten and then zero nine whereas if I have it on one it'll not display the zero um if I had three it'd be zero zero um a number I'm just gonna leave it on one. So I think it looks a lot nicer. So divide by 60 because we want it to, to go down. It um, goes to 60 seconds in a minute. Uh, we use floor because that rounds down. Uh, we've got quotation marks here. And the, the and here, this is just um, for the extra things that we want to have in. So the, the quotation marks will display this as you see it. Um, got a percentage sign here. That's actually, I think it's called a modulus, is a fancy term for it. It's basically just a remainder. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much a similar kind of thing both sides. So yeah, that's um, very simple. Two very simple countdown timers. I use it a lot and I'm sure you'll you'll find it very useful in your projects. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a great night.